New at 11, a family needs help for their son after someone stole his primary way of communicating with them. Leo is nine and says very few words. He's learning to use this device to help him interact with people. His parents say someone took it from their car recently. And as CBS 17's Michael Hyland explains from our control room tonight, the family needs thousands of dollars to replace it. Michael. It may look like your typical tablet, but it isn't. It took years for him to get to the point that he could actually use it. And now this family is looking to the community for help. You want that? Those are some of the few words nine-year-old Leo can say. His mom, Jamie Santana, says he's living with a condition that delays his development. It's called 1P36 deletion syndrome. It's a genetic disorder that impacts him in a lot of ways. For Leo, he gets sick right away. You know, he has seizures, he has sleep apnea, he has asthma. But he keeps pushing. Doctors told us he would never walk, you know, and, and Leo went out there and surprised us. Show me your name. He recently started working with this device, learning how to use it to communicate what he's thinking or what he wants. A couple weeks ago, his parents went outside their home in Fayetteville looking in the car for the device. They realized they'd left it unlocked and someone stole it. You took my son's voice. Jamie started a GoFundMe, hoping to raise $7,000 to replace it. Thankful for the help they've received so far. I think it's one thing to, to know that there's people out there that care and want to help you, but then there's another thing of actually people doing it. Leo went to his weekly appointment Tuesday without the device, something his parents hope is just a temporary setback. They're ready for Leo to get back to making progress again. The one thing they want. Leo's parents also contacted the police when this happened, but this has not turned up at any pawn shops, nor have they seen anybody try to sell it online. We have a link to their GoFundMe on the CBS 17 mobile news app.